Evening folks, uh, coming to you from the brewery. This is what you're all here to see, right? What I'd like to actually talk about today, uh, kind of a short topic, but an important one, is loss in, on uh, young birds and chicks. So we've had... Uh, we had one of the turkeys that came in in this order DOA um, from the from the hatchery and this morning we had one that was one of the chicks that was um, obviously not doing quite so well uh, at least in our eyes it was very lethargic and um, not not getting up and moving around very much uh, and uh, what was really more concerning was it was just kind of getting, I think, beat up by the other ones. Uh, and and I guess beat up's not the right word, but, the, you know, they, they peck at them. And, you know, when they're non-responsive or, or very little response, um, they can get injured and, and, uh, and, and literally get beat up by, by their siblings. So we brought, uh, brought this chick in last night uh set it up with uh, a small area heat lamp and food and water uh to hopefully give it a chance to recuperate on its own um unfortunately this morning uh um that one didn't make it and based on the observations that um that i had on its behavior it was it wasn't putting in much effort to um, eat or drink, and typically, what you'll find is that's uh, list it indicates as uh, failure to thrive. So, um, not much we could have done there. Uh, we could have potentially eyedropper fed or things like that. But um, really, what I wanted to point out is. Not so much that it happens, uh, which it does. Um, typically, when you get chicks in from from the hatchery, there's all sorts of things that can go go on with uh, with that whole process. Um, number one, if you order them uh, from a hatchery that's not local to you, you're going to have them shipped to you, uh, which is via the post office, and all kinds of things can happen there. Um, this spring, for example, our original order got delayed nearly two months because of the weather. Um, the hatcheries just simply were refusing to ship anything out. Um, and because the weather and the transport around uh, February, March was very dangerous, it was very cold and chicks would have had a hard time surviving even a 24 hour trip. Um, but beside that, um, all, all sorts of things happen and every once in a while you get, you'll get a, a chick in that, um, just doesn't seem to be doing well and is, doesn't respond to, to treatment very well or, um, personal handling and care. And, um, the, the important thing is if you go through a reputable uh, breeder or hatchery, um, typically they will have guarantees where, um, number one, we actually received more chicks in this order than we ordered because they do send spares, um, a couple extra to make up the difference because of things like this. Uh, the other thing is most reputable hatcheries will have a 48 or 72 hour uh, time frame from once you receive the chicks in. Um, so that you can reconcile uh, if you have multiple losses. Um, the hatchery that we ordered from, uh, because they sent spares and they have a 72 hour period, I did contact them because it was one of our turkeys that, um, which we only ordered three of, that was DOA in the box. Um, so that, that was a bit more of an expense, but that was also a, a much more, um, uh, important bird out of the out of the group because we only ordered three of them and um, they did ask that we wait the 72 hours to see if anything else 
um, any, any other birds had any issues and to um, make sure that you know that that we would uh, be covered either by the extra they sent or um, you know basically reconcile the total uh, total amount that may have had problems uh, so that's something you're going to want to look for when you're uh, when you're purchasing birds um, especially chicks uh, with with all the things that can happen and all the the different situations uh, going through a reputable breeder or a reputable hatchery uh, that actually takes the time to understand the customer service needs in in the industry and by the people in general and have a fairly generous policy like that is very um, it, it's it's I don't want to say comforting because you never want to have animals that uh, that die, um, especially chicks, but it's comforting in the fact that, for example, if you have a total loss, they will send out a new shipment, or if you have a partial loss, they will refund you, and you're not, that investment you're making isn't wasted. Um, so, you know, that's, that's kind of important. Um, I've used two different hatcheries so far. Um, the jury's still out on them um, the the original hatchery that we ordered from um, we, we also purchased chicks and ducklings from um, from rural king um, who use a, a couple different hatcheries they, um, they use Hoover's hatchery and I forget the name of the other one um, but depending on the bird you get uh, there there's a couple different hatcheries they can choose from uh, but I've ordered online directly from Hoover's and uh, this order and the spring order that I had came from Cackle Hatchery, uh, just dropping names. Uh, haven't had any problems. Customer service has been generally good. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, th those are some of the important things when you're trying to uh, head out on an adventure like this is to understand, you know, what, what exactly what exactly do you need? What exactly are you doing? And, um, you know, are you, are you just getting birds or are you actually making a little bit of an investment? And, uh, you know, I, I think that's kind of important. I wanted to share that with you for this weekend's video. Uh, other than that, obviously I kind of, um, I'm giving you a, a glimpse of the, uh, the babies in action. It's a bit of a rainy day this afternoon. The storms are coming in. Um, getting everything wet so I had to call it a day a little bit early uh, but uh, yeah we're, we're doing good a um, couple little updates on everything um, as you can see I'm in the workshop uh, this is where we brood our our babies um, the uh, main fence line split in the pasture actually got a little bit more work on that done today we are hoping to, I, I'm hoping to actually be able to do a lot more work on that next weekend. That's my long weekend. Um, do have some other things planned, but uh, that, that split is, sorry, I'm getting bothered by flies in here. Um, that split is kind of important because once that's done, the, uh, the cows are on their own side of the pasture and the main drag down the middle is, uh, is done. And we'll have access to what I call the back nine um, down by the pond, the shed, the bonfire, and we'll actually have parking up through there for events and whatnot down in the future. So you'll be able to, uh, to enjoy that. And you'll also be able to walk through the pastures safely without, uh, a couple, um, uh, you know, eight, 900 pound, uh, 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 chunks of beef, uh, running at you. Um, uh, they don't typically run at you unless they know you have food there they're that friendly um the other thing is it's also big enough that it'll serve as our uh, rotational pasture for us at least in the interim um until we deem that it's no longer usable because of traffic through there things like that um so it'll it'll be able to grow out be a third pasture for the goats be a third pasture for the cows uh, or second rather for each of them uh, so we do plan on doing some rotational grazing through there and uh um other than that, 
that's kind of the big news. And uh, again, you know, if you're interested in, in anything, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to reach out on the Facebook page. You can message us. Uh, you can email us. We have our, our website, our, our email address is posted on the Facebook page and on the website. Um, I'm planning on updating the website soon. Uh, yeah, I've been saying that for the last year to myself too. Um, but uh, hopefully I'll do profiles of the animals here. That'll be the next big thing. Um, and hopefully be able to get uh, um, pages set up for other events. Uh, speaking of events, because of the uh, COVID situation, we are kind of playing it by ear. Uh, if you want to do tours and stuff, we do uh, still do the individual family tours. Um, we will provide, our, um, we will practice our, our social distancing. We wear masks. Um, we ask if you come out here that you do too. Um, and then uh, the uh, other event that we have planned for this fall, the uh, trunk or treat, we're still tentatively going to do it. Uh, however, um, due to the situation here in Tennessee, um, it, the, the, the lack of mask wearing and the COVID cases uh, out here, we're going to play it by ear. Uh, it might get canceled. It might not not get canceled we won't know for a little while but um it's it's still on our to-do list we'll see where it goes and we'll provide updates as we go um as always thanks for watching the videos thanks for visiting our facebook page our farm website um thanks for supporting us we love it we're we're glad that you take the time out of your day um to at least cheer us along and uh as always we'll see you next week